Hey guys, welcome back to Unicorn Magic. So today we are going to be doing another squishy makeover. Do 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 do. Yeah yeah yeah. Makeovers—they're like the best things ever. Like, look at this cat. This is the cat that I'm going to be giving a makeover to. I got this on uh, at the Dollar Tree, and it has a ripped neck, and, and the design is just like meh. I don't really like it, but it has a nice squish to it. So um yeah, so I'm excited. So yell it, get through the yell it, get through the yell it, get through the what? Let's get into this video. First we got to sand no, we're not sanding the squishy. What the okay. Uh we're sealing up the rip <laughs> in its neck. As you can see, this is an old video because you can see my tripod and whatnot. It have a ice cream background. Anyways. Yeah, so I have it drying, and now I'm just going in with a base coat. Yeah, base coat. I'm still using those baby little containers. That was This was a long while ago. But I'm still filming this and showing that. No, not filming it. I already filmed it, but I'm showing it to you because, you know, that's what YouTubers do. They use old content. I'm joking. Oh, there's my wet palette. There you go. So I use, I mixed up a bunch of nice pastel rainbow colors, and I'm going to paint the cat rainbow. And uh, skip forward to um, later, a few months later. I forgot to uh, record me doing those colors, so I forgot. No, I don't have green or yellow. So right now I'm mixing pastel colors of each of those because my other original colors kind of dried out. Right now I'm using a popsicle stick to apply it and then I'm using that paintbrush and I'm just applying it real thick. Cause those are kind of thin colors. I don't know why. I was just feeling really impatient and I really didn't want to wait for those to dry for five times. So I just decided to do it that way. Mm, it was like, yeah, it took forever to dry, but it was okay in the end. It was, it was fine. I have it drying on that like little container. I need to finish that container because I did start it that before I had Posca pens, and um, I regret not finishing it because it's so cute. Right now, I'm mixing up a green color because I think it looks really nice. I think the green turned out pretty good. This is based off of a drawing that I did a really long while ago. Her name was Catlin. Uh, yeah, and this was before I did before and after shots, so I'm sorry if you don't see before and after shots, because I, like, always forgot to do those, so, like, you never had before and after shots in the old squishy makeovers. Now I do before and after shots. Why am I mixing purple? I don't know. I'm just mixing all sorts of colors. Oh, because I think I needed, oh, I didn't finish the legs on the purple. You can't even see what I'm doing right now, bro. Why? Okay, back into frame. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. Right now, I'm sketching on the eyes, which didn't work at all. Thank you, Mariah, for lying to me. Finally, it's time to work on her face. Joking. So, I just decided to go for it. Whatever. Who cares? Look at me. Look at me doing it. I'm doing it. Look at the face. It's a beautiful, beautiful face. Now, I'm doing, like, a really, a, a really light, bright pink for the ears and the eyes. Also, I messed up on an eye, so I had to redo that. I tried to wipe it off so much because I didn't want to repaint that area. And it worked. Now the eyes are even. And I think it looks really cute. So now we are going to paint the inner ears very bright pink. Um, and this is how it turns out. So there are no after or er, before shots. I'm very sorry to tell you that. But um, yeah. It is very squishy and nice. It needs some air holes, I think. No, maybe not, I don't know. But it looks pretty nice. I know the lines are a little wobbly, but this was a while ago and this was good for me back then. It was like a few months ago, you know, what I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think it looks really cute and really nice, so yeah. This next squishy is two squishies. I hate how these came out. I'm like literally so sad. Um, this llama was already painted white. Uh, it has a ripping neck. It has a ripped neck. And I don't know what happened to it. And this polar bear has ripping legs. Its legs are ripping off. So I'm just cutting a chunk of fabric, not fabric, uh, squishy flesh, and putting it in the rip so then it can not be so flat anymore. Now we're jumping to the llama. Oh my gosh, my lights are flickering. Uh, 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 uh. DoorDash. 
Anyways, I'm just fixing the neck rip, and I think it looks really good. I really do not like how this squishy turned out. Um, probably gonna end up repainting it at one point or doing something. It is one of my first mega actual failures, I think, because I really don't like it. Also, that bear would not stay, and I really wanted him that one way, and I regret putting it that way because one side of it has flowers on it oh yeah and i opened my paint and it did that to me yeah so now that you can see that bear is um that color i loved that color i love that color it's such a good color and then i had to do touch up so i repainted it another ugly disgusting diarrhea color oh and i'm just painting this llama pink oh i wish that i liked them i hate their eyes how i painted them Ugh. maybe i'll grow into loving them comment down below what you think of them i just <laughs> i don't like them but if i did like them their names would be coco and bubblegum <laughs> Anyways, this is the next one. I didn't show after shots for that other one. Anyways, this is um a Triceratops. It's like a little baby Triceratops. I did this one more recently, so it's more professional. No, oh, I'm not a professional. But like, I think it turned out really cute. This is like the little Triceratops. I found this in like a random lunch bag from like six years ago. I don't know where I got it. Maybe from my grandpa. Thank you, grandpa, if this from you. I don't know who it's from, where it came from. I don't remember. I have no memory of it, but I think it's cute. But the, um, like the original paint started peeling. I didn't really like that color. It wasn't a bad color, but I don't really like it on this Triceratops. I love Triceratopses. Is that how you say it? I don't know. What is the plural of Triceratops? triceratopses i'm not entirely sure but um yeah so yeah they're my favorite dinosaur come tell me your favorite dinosaur because i just like triceratops they're kind of like rhinos so also i was gonna base it off cupcake but i didn't end up doing that really i just sprayed a bunch of white paint on it it was too much white paint also look at me realizing that i'm out of frame and going in frame again wow i'm improving guys look at and now the squishy's all white and i still have paint on it and it's gonna take five years to dry because there's so much paint on it anyways now i'm mixing a nice light purpley color kind of like my jacket that i'm wearing in that shot i think it looks really nice it's a really good purple color i think this is like one of my favorite squishies of all time e yeah so i was just painting this painting this painting it painting it painting it this took many many layers as you can probably see oh my gosh me being out of frame again i need to work on that staying in frame like i had that black box there oh yeah i dried it from the tail from a paint container but i had the blocks back Blech. anyways yeah so i'm painting the, the the triceratops things purple cool transition huh anyway i just waved at you guys wow he's feisty today no it's a girl i think it is i'm not entirely sure yet uh it has eyes now now it just needs like the pupils in it also i changed direction so that thumbnail trigger what transition didn't work out very well i love the little smile it looks literally so cute i love this one so 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 much this is a before this is when i realized them before shots i don't have a spinny thing that's just me spinning it that cake Thing. and into the new version oh so beautiful this was before pretty okay pretty okay don't really like the color combos the eyes are look kind of scared but now it looks so cute i need to poke air hole in it it's um full of air it's an airhead oh no i actually hate air hugs like those candy the candy airheads i really don't like those like disgusting kind of reminds me of pickle but like grape is this grape i don't know comment down on the name for her uh, yeah i got a needle to just like poke it i don't know if it's i'm pretty sure it's a he i'm not entirely sure if it was a girl i would have added eyelashes so it's a he anyways comment down below a name for him along the lines of something purple like i don't know like the german name for purple i don't even know what that is Lila. Lila. I'll look it up after this, but you know, very nice this little rise action moment. 
But um, yeah, I think this turned out really cute. I really like it. It is a very cute little little guy. He's, he's so he's so cute. And this is the whole gang together. It was really hard to angle them because like one of them's really tall and then the other one isn't. You know. Um, so that's how they turned out in the back there. Oh, Coco and Bubblegum. Oh, I hate it. I really don't like it. Because look at that. Look, you see that Judo brown color and that beautiful color that I used for her face? I wish, I wish I didn't do that. At least it's in the back, you know? You know, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Comment down below if you like them or not. I really don't. But anyways, I hope you had a wonderful time here, and I will see you next time. Bye!